Okay, we are uh, going to have our last driver media availability um, for this session. We have another one at 3 o'clock, but we're now joined by the driver of the number 99 freeway insurance Chevrolet for track house racing, and that's Daniel Suarez. I believe Austin Dillon is going to be joining us too, but we'll start with Daniel. If you have a question, raise your hand, and we'll start up with uh, Luis here in the front. Luis Suarez for the podium finish, one in English and one in Spanish. It's obviously a huge day. Early in the session, you were one of the more quickest ones. Just how do you, how acclimated this track has been? Because some say it turns a lot better compared to the old car where it might have not made it through. Well, that was a good timing. Eh? Now, now that guy is talking a lot. Um, listen, I I can really tell, you know, uh, how the old car was gonna drive here and. Uh, and honestly, I don't think we all care because we are in our next chapter, and uh, and and that's the past. And uh, now we have to think about the new car. I think the new car is is, is performing amazing. I'm very very happy the way that uh, that uh, we have done so far. Um, everyone at Trackhouse Racing, Chevrolet, everyone has done a great job, and uh, we have a good piece. Now we have to go out there, have fun, and make make the most out of it. Qué importante es mañana que la gente que no ha visto el deporte que salgan y cuando se acaba la carrera, ojalá quizás le gusta NASCAR en el futuro. I'll take this one, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, buddy. <laughs> um, I hope you got it because I didn't get anything. <laughs> no, you know, I, I'm. Estoy, estoy muy contento de estar aquí en, en, en Los Ángeles. Es un lugar eh, especial. Como tú sabes, yo no tengo la, la oportunidad de poder correr en casa en México. Y, y aquí en Los Ángeles es lo que yo creo lo más cercano que se puede, que se puede tener aquí en los Estados Unidos. Eh, ya tengo desde el miércoles eh, con día de medios y varios eventos de activaciones y demás. Y, y sinceramente me siento muy afortunado de estar aquí. Eh, espero que, que sea que no sea la primera y última vez que estamos aquí. Eh, siento que, que Los Ángeles es un mercado impresionante. Como tú lo mencionaste, el 70% de los, de los boletos son para, son para nuevos fans del, del deporte. Y estoy muy seguro que muchos de ellos son mexicanos. Entonces, eh, eso me pone una sonrisa lado a lado y espero puedo poder poner un buen show para todos ellos el día de mañana. Greg, ¿tienes una pregunta? Hey, Daniel. I don't speak Spanish at all, so sorry. Um, uh, but I'll ask you this in English. Uh, as, you, as you've progressed in the new team and with your, with your boss, with having Pitbull, how has your sponsorships in the way that you relate to them and how you talk to them and how you attract them, how has that changed? Have you learned a lot of lessons that are going to help moving forward and, and, and help in your, in your sponsorship search? And has it become easier? Yeah, it, you know, it, it is a process. Uh, I think uh, I think today, you know, thanks to a lot of people, uh, we're in a very good spot. Um, you know, last year, uh, already we started the season with a very close partnership with uh, with RCR, and uh, and without them, we wouldn't be here. It was a huge help to to be able to start strong. Uh, without uh, without that support, it's almost impossible to be competitive. You know, there, there is so much information, so much information, so much data out there that it requires years and people and manufacturers to be able to get. So it's, it's, it's a process. I felt that uh, Trahal Racing, Justin Marks, uh, Ty Norris, all, all this great group of people, Pitbull, um, they have done a great job. You know, we have started the right way, uh, like I said, with help from, from Chevrolet, from RCR. Now we're doing kind of like our own thing, but as well, we, we're, we're still under the umbrella of, uh, of Chevrolet. So it's been great. And, uh, and I feel like when it comes to the sponsors, obviously we have to do a good job, not just in the, in the racetrack, but also outside the racetrack. So um, I feel like so far we've been doing a, a pretty decent job, but, um, but obviously we, we keep pushing. There is always room for improvement. How cool is it that one of the guys reporting to Center tomorrow doing his thing and how excited are you to see that? Yeah, it's good. Uh, it's obviously very good. Pitbull is uh, an amazing person. Uh, he's, he's a role model uh, for me and I'm sure that for many others. And uh, 
And it would be amazing to, to be able to have a good race, hopefully win it, and uh, have him here. Because if that happens, we're going to throw a big party and all you guys are invited. So let's, let's hopefully we can get it done. Obviously, we're also joined by the driver of the number three True Velocity Chevrolet, and that is Austin Dillon. We'll continue with questions for Jerry. Or, do we have a mic for... Oh, I'm sorry. We'll go start here and then go to Jerry. Go ahead, okay. uh, Actually, unfortunately, I was going to ask you the pitbull question, but uh, <laughs> what's it like coming out to Los Angeles and coming to a, a temporary track like this and driving on it in front of all these fans like that have a, kind of a, a relationship to you? Is that for me or for us? For you. Uh, well, for me, you know, I kind of answered that question in Spanish. I, I, I feel very, very lucky and fortunate to be here in Los Angeles. Uh, as, as you guys know, I, I don't get to race in, in home, right, in Mexico. So this is as close as it gets. Uh, I've been here since Wednesday doing a lot of media tours, doing a lot of activations. And honestly, it feels like home. You know, everywhere I go, people are speaking Spanish to me. Uh, the tacos here are amazing. <laughs> so, so you know, it's, uh, it's, it's very, very cool to be here. And I, I'm loving it. And, uh, and I hope that uh, it's definitely, this is the first time that we are racing here. But I truly hope that it's not the last one. Because this is a, an amazing place, a place that, the, that everyone makes me feel like home. And, uh, and as you all know, you know, 70% of the, of, the, of the tickets sold are for new fans. And I'm pretty sure that a lot of those are... Hispanic, so that truly puts uh, a huge smile on my face. Yeah, I do have a quick question for Austin. What's it like driving on a track that's got temporary asphalt? Nah, it's it's been uh, interesting. I think uh, last night I got some information from Dale Jr. leading into the race, and uh, he's like, "Man, it's really slick out there," but I don't think they were on the same tires. So when we got out there, I was kind of anticipating just no grip, sliding around. But as the track kind of got better and cleaned off, we really started having some good forward drive and. Um, the ability to you know turn and, and use that paint. I love that there's that painted area where the rumble strips are and then you can either choose to cut across it or not. I mean, everyone's kind of doing their own thing out there and finding speed different ways. And uh, But when it gets down to those heat races, I mean, I think the track's gonna shorten up a lot and we're gonna, it'll be kind of rooting and gouging a little bit more. Jerry? Jerry Jordan, kickingthetires.net. Um, one for you and then one for you, Austin. Daniel? Uh, I'm driving down uh, Telegraph Road in Arizona yesterday at the intersection. I look up and there's a big Daniel Suarez billboard. I'm like, dang, I know that guy. The, you were talking about the community and stuff. How is how you've been here? So the embracing and the message that NASCAR has gotten out that hey, we're having a race here this weekend. What have you seen with, with from the people in the community of, about getting you know people knowing and being aware that we're actually having the clash here this weekend? Yeah, I mean this is a team effort, right? Uh, NASCAR has done a tremendous job uh, putting all this together. Uh, it requires years of work to be able to today be here. And, uh, and, and I don't take that for granted. I think NASCAR has done an incredible job. They have gone the extra mile. They have put a lot of work for, for us to be able to be here and, and, to, and to hit a new market. So like I said, I just feel very, very lucky and very fortunate to be part of this uh, lineup uh, in the Cup Series and, and being able to to be the driver that can connect with the Hispanic community. Uh, it's, uh, it's, I feel very, very fortunate for that. I feel very, very blessed. And uh, like I said, I hope that uh, we all we can enjoy the weekend. Uh, I know there's going to be a lot of Hispanics out there in the grandstands, and uh, hopefully we have a great time. Thank you. And Austin, for you, obviously we, we know, uh, you know, Kyle's son is racing and Kevin's son is racing. And, I saw Ace, I think, was driving something the other day. Are you preparing him for the next, to be the next, uh, you know, in line in the, in the, in the, in the Dylan racing you know, <laughs> legion? Well, you know, I, I think he's so young right now, but it's fun to see him get behind the steering wheel. And he really, one of the only sounds he makes is, uh, brum, brum. so, I mean, <laughs> he knows cars. He likes watching cars. If he's having a bad day, I can throw cars on and he's like ready to go. So. Um, it's cool. I got to do an obstacle course out there with the Disney group and Pixar, and they did cars, steam stuff. And I was like, man, I wish I had Ace out here with me. Um, I don't know what he would have done. He probably knocked over the obstacles course because he's kind of just wide open right now. But, man, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I think it would be awesome if he races one day. And if he doesn't, uh, he's going to be good at something, though, because we're going to put all of our effort into him. And uh, he's a stud. I, I love uh, hanging out with my little guy. Justin? 
Yeah, Justin Schuler kicking the tires. Uh, Daniel, we saw you at the dirt race last year, surprised everyone running up front. Here you are today in our, the practice sessions. You are right up there towards the top of the charts. Um, what is it with you taking a car on new tracks that no one's ever done in the Cup Series, either in a long time or ever, and just putting it up front? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't really know. Um, I think a lot has to do with uh, the mentality of getting into that whatever new place we're talking about. You know, I, I think that uh, it's very important to be positive. It's very important to to enjoy it, to have fun, and uh, and to be open-minded. Uh, you know, heading into this race, I try to do my homework and try to 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 be open-minded on a few things and uh, and and be. Be aware of the unknowns because there is a lot of unknowns getting here. You know, we can we can do as much work as we want, but the reality is that nobody really knew how things were gonna be until right now. So, you know, um, with that being said, I have an amazing team behind me. You know, everyone at Track House Racing they build an amazing race car, and uh, we have a good a good hard rod here, and uh, hopefully we can uh, make some uh, tweaks and, uh, and and put that thing on front. We got Lewis in the front. Lo siento, Daniel. Me no hablo español muy bien. Soy un bl uh, blanco viejo. <laughs> uh, you saw that Pato Award tested a Formula One car. What can we do to get Pato Award in a NASCAR car? Oh, actually, Pato and I were very good friends. And uh, we, we go way, way back. We, we are actually from the same town. So um, I think it's going to happen, you know, we're talking about it, you know, we, we ball, we drive for Chevrolet, so it kind of like makes sense to try to do something, eventually it would be very cool to do a swap, you know, I drive an Indy car and he drives an NASCAR, so I can show him that I'm better than him, <laughs> and uh, I have some fun, but Pat is a great friend, I know, I know him very well, I know his family very well, uh, not just that, but actually... We grew up with the same team. Uh, we were always in, the, in different series because I'm five, six years uh, older than him. But, uh, but I, my mechanic in go-karts, he was the same mechanic that he had. So, so yeah, Pat and I, we go uh, way back, and hopefully one day we can make it happen. Lee? Oh, sorry, we'll go here and then wrap up with Lee. Uh, Daniel, you talked about how you know, being here in LA, it's as close as you can get to racing at home without actually getting to be able to race at home. Uh, does being able to race here sort of open the door to having maybe extended family be able to come watch you here in person where otherwise they wouldn't get to? Well, my family, my family is actually in the other side of the country. It's actually closer to Texas. Um, they, unfortunately, they won't be able to come here. Um, you know, sometimes it's, it's amazing to have family, but when you are that busy and you have so much going on, you know, you, you don't want to have too many distractions, and uh, and and this place being so new, having a lot of unknowns, uh, I just didn't invite them. <laughs> but uh, but maybe next time, uh, yeah, because they they party too hard, man. They distract me. But uh, maybe, maybe maybe soon they they obviously they love to come. But uh, I mean overall, like I said, and I have, I've been repeating this many times, but I'm super happy to be here. Great people, great food. It just. They, everyone makes me feel like home, you know, and I, and I have this feeling um, special when, I, when I'm here in L.A., California, this, this part of the country is, 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 is quite special for me. So just very happy to be here, and hopefully we can show, we can show that tonight and tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. No, rapidly. Um, Austin, RCR was instrumental in the early development of this car, and I'm wondering, since you've kind of been a part of it, I believe you did the first test. Can you just talk about now, coming from the infancy to where we are now, you know, what are your thoughts of the project that we finally got it on the track? Yeah, you know, it's pretty cool to, um, you know, from the start of this whole project, uh, getting to the point of, of coming here and racing. The first test was at Richmond, and I remember doing the test, and, um, you know, we built the car in-house and kind of, you know, with the direction of what Delara wanted to do, and they came to Richmond. There was, I think felt like a hundred people when I backed out the car at Richmond around it just manufacturers of parts people that were bidding on parts and then we had a successful day we didn't wreck we didn't tear anything up everything stayed together and then afterwards Jim France handed us all a cigar you know this was the inception of, of, of this car and you know we took a picture with it which was really cool and then now you come to LA 
and get to be a part of the the first race at a another kind of grand opening for us as a sport and um, I think we've done a good job to get it here and we're still learning a lot about the different parts and pieces on this car and uh, but I mean it's done very good and performed so far and we'll just keep working with it at all these tracks that we go to um, this year we'll be trying to make every piece a little bit better. Austin, Daniel, thank you so much for your time and yep. good luck t tonight and tomorrow. Thank, thank you. you guys.